Hello guys, in this video we are going to learn how to interface a 7 segment display to a 8051 microcontroller. So before going into the circuit diagram of code, let's talk about this 7 segment display. So I will take the reference of 7 segment display image. This is the image. Well, this uh, 7 segment displays are important display units in electronics and widely used to display numbers ranging from 0 to 9. The 7 segment display consists of 8 LEDs. Each LED is used to illuminate dot in 7 segment display. We can refer each segment as a line. You can see, as you can see, there are 7 lines in the unit which are used to display a number or character. We can refer each line or segment as A, B, C, D, E, F, G and a dot, dot character which will be as H. There are 10 pins in which 8 pins are used to refer A, B, C, D, E, F, G and H and the other 2 pins are the middle pins which are common anode or common cathode of all the LEDs. These common anode or cathode are internally shorted so we need to connect only one common pin. There are 2 types of 7 segment displays, common anode and common cathode. In common anode, here all the negative terminals of all the 8 LEDs are connected together, named as COM. And all the positive terminals are left alone. In common cathode, here all the positive terminals of all the 8 LEDs are connected together, named as COM. And all the negative terminals are left alone. Now let's start with understanding the circuit and its connections. In this project, I have used AT89C51 microcontroller, one register of 10K ohms, one capacitor of 10 microfarad, two capacitors of 33 picofarad, crystal oscillator of 12 MHz, a switch button, then a register of 30, uh, 330 ohms, and the 7 segment display. The 7 segment display that I have used here is of common cathode type. So the last pin is the negative terminal and hence it is grounded and the rest 8 LEDs are positive terminals thus connecting them to the port 2 of my controller. Now suppose we want to display the digit 0 in the 7 segment display then we need to glow just a second then we need to glow all the LEDs except the line which is named as G. So for your uh, better understanding, I have, I have kept the reference of this image. So the LED is connected to port, port P2, which are P2.0 from, from P2.0 to P2.5, they will glow. You can see A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. That's how they are going to operate. So the LEDs except G and H will be turned on because we don't want to use G and we don't want to display the uh, dot character also. So except G and H all the LEDs will turn on. So to produce the same wire code we need to set the bit pattern of 0 sorry 1 1 1 1 1 1 0 0. So the hex code for this binary for this binary uh, um, for this binary code becomes 3f. This will be passed to the port 2 and so accordingly the LEDs will turn on. You can take the reference of this image. These are the hex values calculated for each digit with the binary data also. So this helps to like get the hex value this these are these has to be used in the C code and accordingly they have to they has to be passed to the port 2 and so the LEDs will turn on so uh, that's how that that is what the logic this is the main logic behind working of 7 segment display now we shall get down to the code so including the header file 
rdg51.h then defining the button connected to port p1 you can see p1.0 then declaring the delay defining the delay then coming into the main function these are the hex codes for, from ranging from 0 to 9 then the logic here I'm using is, is in such a way that whenever I press the button the counting will get started from 0 to 9 the moment the 7 segment display reaches 10 it will start again and this continues uh, until I make the button at logic 0 one thing which is very important while writing the code for 7 segment display is these hex codes only so the way in which we understood to display 0 remains the same for all the digits so that was all about understanding the code now we shall make the hex file building the target first of all hex file has, to, has been created now 7 segment hex is the hex file of our program dumping in 8051 sorry second. 7 segment hex is our hex file clicking the ok button save project Starting the simulation. Yes, uh, now I will press the button and the counting starts. It will start up to 10, it will uh, count up to 10, and once it reaches 10, it will start again from 0. From uh, to 9, it, it will go. Now, once I make the logic 0 to button. The counting stops so this is how we interface seven segment display with 8051 thanks for watching this video thanks a lot guys thank you